the idea of that is 01 was just a, a break from, from Roxy music and for Phil just to try something different. Uh, I mean, he, he, knew, he played with Bill McCormick, the bass player, in a band called Quiet Sun. Uh, and some of the stuff that we did on the 801 was from, from that original band. So I think he just wanted, in a way, to, to get back to, to what were, in fact, his own roots, as it were. Eno was, was in it because him and Phil got on so, so well. I mean, he wasn't just there because he was Phil's buddy, you know. They got on well all, all the time, and Phil was used to playing and liked what um, Eno used to do to, to his guitar. It was Phil's band, but Eno was second in command. Yeah, yeah, first mate, as it were. We did three weeks solid rehearsal at uh, Shepperton Film Studios, and apart from, you know, you've got, say, eight, ten bars for a solo, OK, that bit's left free for you to do what you want. But everything else, it was almost note for note worked out. Yeah, it's the ha hardest work that, that I've ever, ever done. Yeah, yeah. And when you listen back to it, you think, blimey, yeah, that was, a, that, was, that was a lot to learn. Yeah, especially for somebody like me, who's more of a spontaneous, like, you know, a blues player, just get up there and whatever comes out, comes out, but, yeah, no, you've got to learn this, this goes da 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 it doesn't go da 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 it goes da 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 and that's how it's got to be. I think that, that Phil and Eno had got it worked out, you know, what they wanted to, to go and do and play live, and so then it's just a case of, all right, we know what we want to do, let's, now let's just get the musicians and let's, you know, get it on, yeah. We did a, a warm-up gig at a place called West Runton, which is out near Cromer, which at the time, a lot, of, a lot of bands used to use that place, believe it or not, for the first gig to, you know, iron out anything that's wrong. And you're, you're on the East Coast, not of America, the East Coast of England, and there's not a lot of people there, so it doesn't matter if it, if it goes too wrong. It's not as if you're in front of 10,000 people, you know, in a, in a stadium or something. Uh, so, yeah, uh, we did that. Um, we did the Reading Festival, and then we did the Queen Elizabeth Hall, which was recorded for the for the 801 live. Yeah. Baby's on fire. With it being live. There's always that element of it, it could go wrong, you know. So you're always on a little bit of a knife, it, and it, I think it, it lifts you up even even higher, knowing that right, we've rehearsed for three weeks, you know. Now it's going to be a live album. Don't muck it up. <laughs> I mean, Rolling Stone magazine quoted it as one of one of the top live albums up there with Dylan's Before the Flood and Bowie. So that'll do. That'll do me. Yeah proud to be involved with it, definitely.